This week's specials at Miles Franklin are one ounce silver Krugerrands, only 310 over spot, one ounce palladium bars, $119 over spot, and 10th ounce gold maples, $35 over melt. We have a massive inventory, all great prices. You could email me, text, or call. I'd be happy to help. Slayer at milesfranklin.com. Now let's get to the video. Welcome back folks. I put together a great video for you guys and gals today. Quick announcement. I just launched a Patreon. So if you guys wanted to become a member of the Silver Stacking Club, then go join links in the description. I'll be doing live streams on there, giveaways, prizes. There will be discussion boards, live chats with everyone, um, early access to videos, and a lot more. I'm really going to try to build this up as a clubhouse for silver stackers and a lot of different perks and rewards and different tiers. So go check it out if you wanted to join and see you in the clubhouse. There's an article I want to break down from CommodityTradeMantra.com titled, A Mega Silver Price Rally, The Only True Gold Bull Market Catalyst. This came out yesterday. So we're going to be diving into this article where they're mentioning silver and they bring a lot of context in where the price could be headed. It's so easy to look at silver's price right now and say, okay, this is what's going on. When you are trying to invest into something, especially if you're looking at maybe buying or finding a nice entry point or looking to maybe diversify into something you got to look at where it's headed and this article breaks down the potential i really like this article i skimmed over it i didn't want to go over the entire thing because i wanted to still see if they break down some good points or not you know i'll try to be as unbiased as possible because when i'm covering articles I have to remember that a lot of this is still speculation. I don't want to mislead my audience. I want to make sure that people have a realistic picture and it's not just hyping things up for no reason. There always has to be a reason behind it. And if the reason makes sense, then it does. But if it doesn't, then I'll try to call it out. So with the price of gold having hit multiple record highs in recent weeks, hedge fund managers are now beginning to turn their attention to silver, knowing well enough that if there's any kind of true confirmation to the continuation in the ongoing gold market rally, it is a rally in the silver price. So gold prices rose to a new all-time high above $2,220 an ounce after the Federal Reserve signaled that it still sees the potential for three rate cuts this year, even as inflation remains stubbornly elevated. Although gold rallied to a new record high, it wasn't able to hold those gains and ended last week pretty much where it started. So while the gold market could see some higher volatility in the next few weeks as speculative positioning ebbs and flows, the broad trend remains up and the gold market has now fully priced in the Federal Reserve's monetary policy easing, limiting its upside potential. So silver's price may be lagging behind the price of gold in the futures market, but it would be foolish to assume that implies some sort of permanent divergence between the two metals. Traditionally, silver is late to the party, but once it finds momentum, it can easily outperform gold. Investors need to see the gold price move first, and then they would go into silver. And this process, in turn, picks up huge momentum, which is a common thing for silver to outperform gold in both directions, right? Higher highs and lower lows. This massive rally in the silver price eventually transforms into a catalyst for the gold price to then make its final mega upside move in the ongoing rally. So here they're mentioning how only a soaring silver price solidifies further bullish momentum in gold, which is an interesting take. Uh, so all eyes have been on the gold market as prices have rallied to record highs above $2,200 an ounce. However, the attention is now starting to turn to silver as analysts look for the metal to be next up to rally. Many analysts have pointed out that traditionally because of its higher volatility, silver outperforms gold in both bear and bull markets. In a recent interview with Kitco News, Carly Garner, co-founder of the brokerage firm DeCarly Trading, said that while she doesn't like to trade silver because of its volatility, she does see potential for the precious metal. She added that while record highs might be a little stretch, prices can move above $30 an ounce when momentum picks up. Garner added that she isn't too concerned that silver is lagging gold. Quote, we have seen in previous cycles, silver is sometimes late to the party and gold makes its move. And then a handful of months later, silver starts to move. There is no reason why we can't see that again, end quote, she said. So 
As to the silver price pushing to $50 an ounce, Garner said there is a big wall around $30 and that market has to get through that first. I mean, yes, there is a lot of resistance around $30. Uh, so famed commodity trader Dennis Gartman said that the silver price is underperforming gold prices because of shifting market dynamics. He pointed out that unprecedented central bank gold demand is solid is a solid pillar for support for the yellow metal, something that silver doesn't have. And I think there's lots of different reasons, of course. I mean, if you want to incorporate silver manipulation, which is a lot easier to do, gold is a much, much bigger market than silver. It's also why it's more easily manipulable and also why prices move to such extreme highs and lows where gold is more stable. Uh, I mean, it's also an industrial metal where gold isn't, right? Silver has this entirely other thing pushing and pulling its price. So to try to compare silver and gold prices together is so silly to me. And I feel like when people try to do that, they're not understanding where silver's true value and potential comes from and the opportunity behind it as well. Garment added that he would like to see a silver price rally as it would help to solidify the bullish momentum in gold. And quote, silver has always led gold in a bull market. And the fact that it hasn't done yet does bother me a little bit but this time it could be different. Now, many analysts have said that the health of the global economy will be key to unlocking silver's bull market. Last week in an interview with CNBC, Marcus Garvey, head of commodity strategy at Markery, said that silver can outperform gold if the glo global economy remains strong. Quote, as a dual precious metal and industrial metal, if we start to see global growth pick up a bit more over the course of this year, which is very much our base case, then I would expect silver to go from a relative underperformer to gold to being a relative outperformer to gold over really the third and fourth quarter of this year, Garvey said during the interview. Garvey added that silver's price needs to hold critical support at $24 an ounce. In a recent note, Fawad, founder of Trading Candles, said it might only be a matter of time before silver's price takes off, breaking through $30 and pushing it to $50 an ounce. He added that he expects an economic rebound in China to increase the metal's industrial demand, creating solid support in the marketplace. And let me branch off right there because China is the largest consumer of silver. So with that happening, especially in the third and fourth quarter of the year as the most controversial and critical presidential election to date, so some could argue, is also going to be playing a huge role. And I also do think that people are waking up and they're called safe haven metals because they are what people go to in times of economic uncertainty when people don't trust banks or the government. So all of this forming together is a nice little perfect storm for silver, especially since gold is already up so high and the gold to silver ratio is so exaggerated. So everything favors silver breaking out sooner than later. So, quote, considering the current rally approximately 7% this month, the bulls will be keen to prevent any drop below this level. The resistance trend line of the consolidation pattern is situated around $25 with a slight margin of variation. Beyond this point, a, hor a horizontal resistance level near $26, he wrote in the commentary. Therefore, $25 and subsequently $26 are the immediate resistance levels that the bulls need to surpass to instigate an upward movement on larger time frames. If these levels are taken out, it's plausible, or it's plausible to anticipate silver testing its multi-year resistance around $30 next, said Neil Christensen. So here they go into the charts. They go into what silver needs to break above or what it's trying to stay above. Um, if you guys don't know, resistance levels are what silver's price is trying to break above. So there's a lot of resistance at like $26. There's also a lot of resistance at $30 and a lot of resistance at $50. And then there's also a lot of support around the you know $24 range, $22 range. It always bounces up from there. And every time it gets to $26, $30, it bounces down. So it's stuck in between those two. Resistance levels are what's trying to break above. If we break above $30, that would be 
a nice move because silver always tends to bounce or, or push back down. It starts to correct back down around that price since it's happened since February 2021, since the Wall Street silver movement that happened a little earlier, or a little later. And then you have $50, which it couldn't break above in 1980, which was the highest price silver's ever been still to this day. And then 2011, it broke back down uh, from $50. So people are saying if it breaks above 30, there is really no, there's no price movement between 30 to $50. So if it breaks above 30, most likely it's going to jump to near 50 shortly after that. It's going to be extreme overbought territory and it will correct back downwards. A lot of people will probably lose money buying when it's up to 45 something and then selling it after it corrects back down, not knowing that's supposed to happen. But then if it breaks above 50, we'll probably see $100 even quicker. Because then, that's the highest price it's ever been. Talk of the town, news, channels, friends, family, neighbors, squirrel in the backyard. Everyone's going to be buying silver. It's going to push momentum very, very, very high, especially with a market that is so much smaller than gold, so it can move to much more extremes. That's why it's called um, the devil's metal. Uh, a lot of people will call it that, or gold's little brother, or uh, a dramatic version of gold, or gold on steroids, because it is very, very extreme in its movements, which is a lot riskier. More risk, more reward. Take it how you want it. That's just a, the truth. So, um, anyways, you guys can look up into this. I didn't. I, I don't like going to the charts too much because I already basically broke down uh, where the support lines, resistance lines are, and that's really what's most important. We don't have to go into the Fibonacci retracement levels or the triangle for that. That's that's not my channel. That's not my cup of tea. Um, you know, I try to get a base knowledge of it since I am an analyst to some extent, I guess, or you could say a silver expert. Of course, everyone has their own areas of expertise. Mine is more on core fundamentals of supply and demand and silver stacking strategies. What's the best way to start or bullion versus numismatics, semi numismatics, all that type of stuff. That's really my cup of tea, um, you know, but regardless, it's all it, it's still good to know or at least have some type of grasp on all of it since it all is very important to some extent, I could say, I could argue, especially if you are looking to enter in the market right now and you're saying you're trying to look at the charts and say, hey, is it going to pull back a little bit in the next week or so? That stuff is important to know. So anyways, um, if you want my take on that, I think the best way to tell with forecasts or predictions is to look at both sides. Look at the chart side of things, but also incorporate what's happening in the economy as well. Like, is there an FOMC meeting coming up? What is gold doing right now? What has silver done in the, in the past week? Or what is the dollar index doing? Is there anything, you know, breaking news happening? All of those things, the economy side with the chart side and mix those two together, you get a better idea. Some people just look at the numbers and they're missing a, a huge piece of the puzzle because then you're not looking at the other side. A lot, same with the fundamentals of it. A lot of people compare silver to gold. And then even looking at silver, they're comparing silver's price to just the dollar index, not even understanding that there's this whole other world, which is the supply and demand fundamentals, which is the main factor when looking at prices or where prices are headed, especially for silver. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Remember, folks, uh, patreon.com slash silver slayer. Go go enter we, we we're going to be building a community of silver stackers in there we'll be hanging out in there live streams early access to videos giveaways prizes all types of stuff i've i'm gonna really try to build that into like a, a hangout you can't really offer that on youtube um you know especially since there's different tier levels like every tier you get different benefits um it's five dollars to be like the basic member and that will block out a lot of like the trolls or naysayers and all that because I want to have a positive place and everyone who's going to be going over there, there'll be like a core true silver stacking community, not a toxic YouTube comment section. And plus your comments won't get lost and you could DM me, you know, the members will be uh, very close knitted since it's a much smaller community than my 100,000 subscribers. So it might, might be like a 20, 30, 40 people, maybe 100 someday. So it's it's a lot more um, intimate and personal and we can all talk to each other where I can't really offer that here. So I, I really am excited about that. Um, maybe it will grow over time, but still it's going to be manageable. Like even if we have a thousand members, that's still a lot more manageable than let's say my YouTube channel. So um, it really is, I'm, I'm really excited for this. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think about this article or where you think silver price is headed. Um, make sure I'm probably gonna go live today, hopefully for a couple hours because I really wanna start live streaming and I gotta figure out that whole thing as well. So anyways, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow. Peace.